Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa and today I'm going to show you how to make an anthropology inspired outdoor rug. So supplies you're going to need for this are going to be a plain um, rug, which I bought at Ikea for $9.99, a cutting mat, my popsicle templates that are available for download and print on SincerelySaturday.com, a craft knife, some freezer paper, an assortment of acrylic paints, um, a pencil, some foam brushes, and an iron. And I'll show you why in just a second. So to begin, we are going to cut out our templates. We are just going to cut out the popsicles that I have prepared for you. I will put a link in the description box below for the printables as well as all of the colors of um, acrylic paints that I used. Um, so go ahead and cut those out and then we are going to trace them onto the paper side of our freezer paper, not the plasticky feeling side. So once you have everything nice and cut out, go ahead and um, lay this out on top of your freezer paper. And I did find that uh, taping down my freezer paper was a little bit easier so that it wasn't so unruly while I was trying to um, trace these guys onto there. So now that I have everything laid out, I'm going to go ahead and trace around all of my popsicles and very, very carefully cut um, these out using my craft knife. And you wanna make sure that you're using a pretty sharp craft knife and you're not leaving any little edges because it will show up um, once you have started painting. Um, my Ikea um, rug is, it measures two feet by two feet and 11 inches. It's a large um, size rug. So I had about eight inches of side left um, when I measured from like the widest part of my popsicles. Um, but you might find that you have a smaller rug. So just go ahead and make sure you have it centered as best as you can. Once you have that centered, you are going to um, put your iron on the hottest setting available, which is usually the linen setting, and that's the linen setting on my um, particular iron. And you are going to press pretty hard using most of your body weight, and it takes about 10 to 20 minutes to get the sucker down. So just relax and take your time. Make sure you pay close attention to all the edges. Um, and once you have that down, we are going to start painting. So once I was certain my edges were all nice and adhered, I started with white acrylic paint. You are going to be using a ton of white acrylic paint, so I do suggest buying um, a large like jug or um, however you can find it at your craft store. Um, it's fairly cheap, um, but you are gonna be using a lot if you want the colors to really pop against the background, and I did. So um, basically you can see I started around the edges, just pouncing around, making sure to kind of seal the edges down with this white paint um, and just continued all the way through until I had everything completely covered. So like I said at the beginning of this video, this was completely inspired by a rug that is currently on sale at anthropology.com. I will put a link in the description box below in, in case you're curious to go check out what the original inspiration was. That little rug is $42, and there's no way on this earth I'm paying that much for an entryway rug. So that is why I decided to make um, this little guy for you guys. Um, I will put a link in the description box below also for all the colors that I chose, but honestly, you can use whatever the heck you have on hand. That is what is so beautiful about this DIY. It's totally customizable to whatever you want. And maybe you want purple pops, purple and green popsicles or whatever, like just do your own thing. <laughs> That's what's so awesome about this. So after I have everything mixed and kind of like shaded, um, to how the, the original inspiration rug is. I took all of the freezer paper off, which pulled off beautifully and left nice crisp, crisp lines. Um, and then I just put on the um, little stick uh, templates that I had made earlier. And after that was all dry, I popped this sucker on my front porch and it is so cute. I cannot wait for everybody to see it. So 
So now you just have to let everything dry thoroughly and you can pop this little guy out on your front porch for the entire world to enjoy. I hope you guys really, really like it as much as I do. And as always, if you guys decide to make this, take some pictures and email them to me and I, will, I would love to post them on my blog. And thank you guys for watching. Please find other super awesome DIYs and tutorials on SincerelySaturday.com and please like and subscribe to my channel.